right? Let's say you want to focus specifically on the left and right movement. This would be one of the, like with a broader stroke. Or let's say it's a micro movement. You move them right next to each other. You go boom, boom. Boom, boom, where you add like 10 different bots where it goes here, 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 and you want to randomize it and change it. You can definitely do that. And hopefully, by by showcasing this and enjoying going back and forth between various targets, you see just how not overwhelming it is. I know I kind of started off maybe overwhelming with just putting walls, like <laughs> the time to make something. A giraffe in there. Let's throw a giraffe. Let me see if I can throw a giraffe in here. Do they have those? I know there's the stationary. City animals. You can put a cat in here, that's crazy. I know the giraffe. Like yeah. You hop in game. You can move around. I, 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 I so much prefer staying stationary. That's a personal preference whenever I'm aiming. We covered quite a bit today. We discussed, we were reviewing some of the maps. Remember, you can change the map. Here, I mean, there's so much customization. It may, some of it may take a little longer, but in the long run, I mean, it's yours. And it, 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 aim lab. some intervals to kind of do a little bit more than just having to constantly program everything but of course even on the list as you look at Smartbot overrides, AD80, dodge, jump, orbit. You know, it, it'll it'll do some things for you.
here. And it's where you see when you type in new, let's actually go to load. And I know you see the community. which were Siege Entry, Siege C4 Arc, Siege Capacity. We had Siege... And enjoyable. Remember, even with your settings, as you hop into Aim Lab, as you can tell, you can go to your options and change your crosshair that we mentioned before. You can change the opacity so you get more of a little bit of an outline there. You can change the length of it. You can make it a little smaller. Kind of like what you see on... On Valorant or CSGO, you can change the th thickness if you like. Right now we kind of have that little bit of a healthy medium in the cross. Here, let me go to save that. If we go back to the screen here, just know that you have a lot of functions. functionality at your disposal. And then we're going to break down everything that we saw here. I'll do my best to kind of talk. Of Aim Lab, because there's so much here to break down. Scenarios will last a predetermined amount of time, so this is your first time on Aim Lab. very important especially when you're calming in a video game so maybe you might have a friend
perfect for scenarios where you're tracking individuals right in front of you. Maybe it's like Apex Legends, Quake, or various games with go or perhaps if you're Not a bad run. We look at the breakdown on the leaderboards. If I put in just a little bit of time, it would easily break. Make a top 100 score on this. Not one I definitely focus on. If now that I play it, <laughs> I kind Kind of feel like I might need to put a little more time and effort into this compared to the micro track one. Let's do that one. I know that one. I have an easy. Easy top 100 on. But arc track is very beneficial towards your aim to helping smooth out. compared to where I think it was 13.42 so. But what I like about this sensitivity is that as you can tell, it provides a lot of smoothness to my aim. I I just need to kind of work on the overall larger movements. And exercise is very important. That's actually a little case study that I have been doing. Especially with these scenarios, make sure you focus on clearing your mind, having positive mental health when you come into practice.
practice just very much as when you would work out and train it's time to kind of get your body right into shape so you want to be in the right mental mindset and you also want to make sure that you're keeping your body in tip-top shape because while this is a, a video and before it starts let's discuss it this is great for controlling recoil making sure you understand the small movements screen tracking so we're about three percent off from the normal tracking which isn't bad which is very beneficial. What I have done for today, and this is another tip when we go into the next scenario here, to a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So let's say you are a professional or working to become a professional CSGO player, or let's say you play just to kind of get you perspective remember that field of view is all about just changing your lens if you compare it to
piece. So we have five here. These are the new tracking scenarios. And just kind of recap the ones that we've already looked at. You're, you're looking at Sphere Track 90, Arc Track, Star Track. Overall, that I would just need to, to spend a lot more time just because, it, it, again, why it's called Star Trek is as you can tell, it kind of goes in a star. shape and it's more linear I think overall that was probably my weakest scenario so it kind of assess and really reflect and be you be critical of yourself but not too harsh because you know that you're you're working to improve and that's the overall goal. So we're going to go through next are the Rainbow Six Siege scenarios. What's really great about Aim Lab. Um, which I really enjoy is the variety that you see in a lot of the scenarios. It's not just grid shot. I know grid shot is very, very popular, but you can see. at this is where c4s get thrown at you periodically this will help on your precision and accuracy to help you The air. Just the goal is for it to not to blow up. You can move your character in game if you like. Oh, you don't play Rainbow Six Siege because. Flicking to various small targets of very is that I seem to be better when the targets are moving right to left rather than left to right.
a scenario if you'd like. You don't need to. You don't have to. But, you know, it's always there as an option for you if you'd like. And let's discuss what... And I'm going to switch... You know, sometimes let's say you don't have all the time in the world. Maybe that's why you're watching this video. Maybe that's why you're hopping into AimLab. It's perfectly fine. This is really like this one. I think it taught it taught me the most so far. Also, there's one about memory where I was definitely struggling. You start to, it starts to rely less on aim and more on predicting an enemy and where they're going to be. Prediction is really key, and so let's restart this and let's just try to zip through this as quick as possible so you can see the whole thing. The goal is to keep running through the map. As fast as possible and these enemies are predetermined but if you get so used to cutting the angles and going through various motions you start to really speed up even as you see me going through this because I know where the enemies are you really start to speed up your overall aim and your overall accuracy and of course they punish you and shoot you back if you take a little too long which we did in that scenario so remember to keep peeking go through this as quick as possible And it's pretty straightforward where you need to go. There's areas that I need to check. I need to get better about checking. Too much Apex Legends, everyone always around you. You need to play a lot smarter. But this is this is why we do this. This is this is literally why we do this. Where you're not looking at somebody who's perfect. Where I've had I have a lot of strengths, but I also have a lot of weaknesses, and that's perfectly fine. I stood there actually in game I definitely would